<laughs> well, ghost, at least it's you and me now. <laughs> oh, excuse me, do not uh, cry. It's so pathetic. Use your bitterness, use your loss. It will make you strong. Feed off that business and then redirect it to your enemies. <laughs> You're right, Viconia. I will use my 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 broken heart to make her even more golden heart and get more gold and kill all my enemies and become the great monopolist of the realm that will screw everyone over. Good, good. Use your anger. Hello, welcome to Star Wars. I mean, um, uh, you have a plan. A little bit of personal matter, excuse me. Well, uh, last time we got our heart broken, but uh, I have been going through our newly found equipment, and we have some interesting things in there. Really interesting things. Uh, a bunch of, there was a bunch of stuff, but this one is interesting. The Rope of Netheril. Well, what does it do? It's this long story about uh, Netheril, but I'm not going to read it all. Here, print screen is if you want. Never mind. So what does it do? It gives you 50% magic resistance, which is really good. Especially if you combine it with uh, some other items of magic resistance, you can basically become magically immune. But it's a rope, if you put it on, that you can't cast spells anymore. So it basically creates kind of a dead magic zone around you. And you can't pull it off with a remove curse. Which makes it significantly less useful. I thought about actually giving it to Viconia during certain fights and making her kind of... Uh, the anti-magic uh, sapper, but uh, they can only be worn by mages, so that also reduces the usefulness. On the other hand, what we also found was this. And this one I have been going over. The Crown of Lies. The grit and golden crown looks impressive, but its substance is base fool's gold, aka pyrite. And the, and the gems set around it are bits of colored glass. Placing the crown upon one's head allows the wearers to card to prepare extra spells, but fills their heads with false knowledge. So this actually lets you memorize a lot of uh, extra spells, but it reduces your lore. And honestly, that is not that bad for Skizny, as his lore is not great anyway. The only problem I see is that um, helmets protect against critical hits, and it improves the armor class, and this doesn't. But I think we can suffer that. Keep this helmet around, but uh, I think we can serve it. Maybe uh, when we're in a fighting stance, we will use it. The amount of spells is just too good to ignore. So, hey, wait. Oh yeah, here we go. Three is... What was it exactly? Oh yeah, two extra third level, one extra fourth level, and one extra fifth level. That's actually really good. Now we actually got kind of a decent mage with this. I think we'll put an extra fireball in here. Maybe some protection of some kind. Extra ray for? Or maybe remove magic. That can actually be very useful. And in this, I think an extra stone skin. We're gonna need it now that we have lost uh, that we have lost one AC and uh, that. We're gonna need that in combat. We need to keep those stone skins up. So, and this, an extra 5th level spell? Hmm, what would be good for that? Cone of Cold actually might not be bad, the way Skiz is in front lines. Or Cloud Kill, I think we'll go with Cloud Kill. Cloud Kill is a good, uh, good way to soften Let's up a large do army. <sighs> On my way. And as we've seen, we are going to be facing a fair number of large armies. Also rest it up a bit. Uh, I think uh, we don't have much in the way of crest. Oh yes, we can collect those boots. Those boots should probably be made by now. Hopefully get a solid reward from that bloody dwarf. If not, I will ma make him pay for those boots over years of service and debt. He will be my slave forever. Wow, Skizny is in a vicious mood. I have many fine wares. Uh, hello? They don't really get the boots. 
That's weird. How they made the boots? Did I already collect it off screen? Maybe. Uh, let's have a word with him. Oh! Who goes there? Just me, excuse me. Uh, sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm curious, and, uh, did I already complete I'm not that? in the best shape right now. Uh, on the fence. Yeah, we still need to do that. The Lancey Dragon Spear. Held fast lucky charm. In one day. Maybe the day hasn't passed yet. I did sleep two times, so that should... Let's sleep one more time. We'll memorize our new spells. I need a some strong dwarven The beauty of a sunrise has nothing on me. Nah, maybe on the outside, but inside you're rotten and stinky and smelly! I need a swig of some Let's strong rest, yeah. dwarven hail. Maybe we get awesome dreams. No, we don't. Alright, now the boots should be done, I think. I mean, uh, three times and eight hours. marches on its stomach. Ah, yes. Are those boots ready yet? Here they are! A fine pair of boots, too. I could have made three ordinary pants uh, uh, in this time, but no! Ah, quit your whining. Reward, reward, reward. Oh! Who goes there? It's me, Hefna, and I got your bloody boots! My new boots, sir! Let me see them! Here they are! A pair of genuine dread du There! Bearskin boots. They look wonderful. I wanted to say dwarf oh, yes, skin sir. boots. These will be lucky for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Here, take these as a reward. Eh, yeah, they're comfortable too. Guard duty will be a breeze from now on. Nice. What did we get? Two potions. Yes, he will be my weight slave from now on. Cast him. Cast him! Well, off to do the, to the uh, actual castle courtyard and see what we can do there. Fine. Oh yes, at night they won't be as. Uh, hopefully they will not suspect us as much. Halt, friend or foe. I held the seed of Cain Iron Gentleman. What do you think? Oh, forgive me, my lord. I did not know we were one of the fateful. Please pass. May Kayla's light shine upon you always. Hooray! I like this music, it's the theme music of this thing. Now I can sneak in there, see who we are. Treacherous cow! Try it, Corinth. Try it and see what happens. Shut it, both of you! Everyone shut the hell up! Right, what's going on here? Let's see. So all right, boss. listen up. You all know we've got a problem here. I don't like problems, and I'm not going to let this one interfere with our duties any more than it has already. Thales here has accused Corinth of crimes against the lady. She lies! You call me a liar, you treacherous pig! You dare! He did call you a liar! I heard him! Who the hell are you? Now let's not say our name and get killed. <laughs> it's fun that they offer the stupid option in each one of those. You probably get to say the... You probably get to the option to go like... Like, oh no, 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 I meant something different and then... Uh, or say, yes, I am, and then you get killed, I assume. But we'll not try it out. Let's be do the humble thing here. I am a lowly servant of Kayla, as we all are. It seems to me that you could use a little assistance in resolving the issue at hand. Perhaps we could at that. I'll let those involved speak for themselves. Phelos, tell us your tell us a story. I'm no bard. It's no tale of thrilling adventure I will tell, but it is the truth. Before we were assigned here, Corinth and I served as scouts to the Blinding White Battalion. He did the job well enough, until we came to the hamlet of Innisfall. <laughs> the 
That's what she said. <laughs> In this case, if truth the um, yeah. There he broke cover, for warning the inhabitants of our coming. They took what provision they had and fled before our forces arrived. The gods alone know how many he cost the ladies light. Never mind the supplies and weapons we lost due to his betrayal. Lies. All of it. Delton, you can't believe her. Uh, all of you. You know me. You know I would never betray the lady. I don't know that. Or you, for that matter. But I pride myself on keeping an open mind and an eye on opportunity. Tell us, what happened in, in Innisfar? The people of Innisfar fled before us. They, it's true, I saw the riders who warned them of uh, our coming from where I hid in the brush. He was a farmer working the fields a few miles down the town. He saw the battalion approach and warned his fellows. That is the beginning and end of this story. Deceiver! Oh, wait, uh, Deceiver? I'll cleave your head from your shoulders! Old Valus, whether Corinth is guilty or not, I won't have my people striking down one another. Combat, that's a bit barbaric. This is a very thorny situation to be sure. Perhaps I can help for payment. Let me uh, talk with them individually, see how, uh, how high the bribes they can offer me, and see if we can determine the truth of this matter. I'm happy not to have to deal with this nonsense. Talk to Valus and Corinth and their colleagues round the camp. Ravik, Delton and Damar have all voiced an opinion. Once you've gathered the evidence, let me know your conclusions. All right. Not for Delton and the others. Okay, let's see. I think uh, it's best before that we talk with the others before we talk to the accuser and accused. Can we loot? Yes, we can. Why would people leave uh, magic scrolls in their, ch in their chest randomly? Unless they are... No, they're not cursed. They're not cursed at all. Well, I guess all that good spirit and faith and all that blinds them to the truth of this world that everyone's in here for themselves. So I get rich of their foolishness. Beliefs. <laughs> I am happy not. No, I'm not. Oh, you see, he's not happy. He didn't do it, you know. I don't believe he did. Corinth wouldn't uh, be so, so foolish as to betray us. You believe Phyllis's lies when she claims Corinth warmed of a fall of, in uh, the fall of Ines Files after Crusade's arrival? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Just saying, she is uh, not uh, telling the truth for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe even she doesn't know why. Look, Corinth isn't the most satisfying guy, fast guy around. I know that. I know that. He is in this uh, for the money, not the mission. But he is. But he is in it. See, he's in it. He's so he's got the uh, hat. So he's got the uh, hat. So he had family in, in, in his fall. That doesn't prove anything. Corinth has family in his fall? Corinth has family in his fall? Where did you hear that? You haven't heard about it? Everyone's talking about it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, he had a family in his fall. And, uh, and in his fall managed to, uh, you know. Run like hell just a few minutes before the crusade arrived? That doesn't prove anything. Nothing. That proves that, 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 what, that's what it proves. What I'm saying is, if you listen to me, what I'm saying is, Corinth isn't uh, to turn on the crusade. He just isn't. Fact. Aha. Uh -huh. You have been very helpful. Thank you. He wouldn't turn us! He wouldn't! Uh, uh, what? 
Yeah, all right. Uh, may Kalos Light guide you always like that. Uh, now we have no death. Tristrian. That's an interesting name. That's Fezzik Rafak. He's another one of the witnesses. Uh, what you want? You looking at me? Stop it! I don't like being looked at. I saw you listening to Leopas earlier. I thought you might be able to offer some insight into the conflict between Phaedas and Corinth. You may want to use smaller words. Just a suggestion. And you may want to use protection! You know, you want to know about Corinth? Whatever will tell you about Corinth. He hasn't seen no lot. He doesn't believe in the lady. I've seen him. I've seen what he does. Shouts Kalos' name as loud as he can, but shakes like a mouse when it's time to do him work. Complains about how hard life is for him. He weak. Uh. Do you believe you are in this part of the crusade's coming? Corinth, turn on the crusade. Uh, he hasn't got the stones. He hasn't even got a, got one stone. Useless. Hmm. Uh, don't discount him too quickly. Cowards have their uses. I'll leave you to your work now. Sure, will. Now, uh, is Tristian name has me intrigued. Who is Tristian? Knight Commander Tristian, at your service. Who? May the Lady of Strategy bring you victory. Aha! Uh -huh. He is a priest of Red Knight. And we want to kind of steal his holy symbol, apparently. So, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, the Lady of Strategy is Red Knight, correct? Correct. The Red Knight gifts us with tactical knowledge in battle. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard you carry an exquisitely crafted holy symbol. You heard of that? Well, it is true. The symbol is very special to me. A gift an old friend gave me when I joined the church. How confident are you in the Red Knight's favor? Would you uh, wager that symbol in a game of strategy? Why would I accept such a challenge? I have a corner board here, one of the finest tactical games ever designed. How better to learn the intricacies than playing against a devotee of the Red Knight? And what are the stakes should I accept this challenge? You are assembled against 200 gold pieces. Set up the board. Who am I playing against? Against me! Let's begin. You've bested me. <laughs> I am. The Red Knight has taught me a harsh lesson this day. I know yeah. all the tricks. The holy symbol is yours. Ah, yes! Well, you were pretty good. I was just better. <laughs> I have duties to attend to. Mine, mine, mine! This'll be worth quite a penny, idiot. <laughs> I only cheated a little, and I even beat him. <laughs> What do we have here? Oh, is this the banner? Yes, I think that's the battle standard we need. But of course, there's another item we want here down. So we will get to it. That's just a potion and some stuff. What's this? Crusader uniform. I think that'll be useful. Uh, what do we have here? Salo and two Crusader, Nan and Pedro. Let's talk with them. You need something. Come on, Asello! Oh, get up! Get up! Damn you! Hey, forget it! The shawty lady yourself could sew him up uh, right now. Commander Drain will not be pleased. Who 
what's the problem here and how can I profit from it? The problem is that Salo here has, uh, can stay out of the booze. Every few days we find him passed out in a drunken stupor. Salo is supposed to take Dreon the, mo Dreon the morning report. If Salo doesn't show, Dreon will want to know why. And guess who will reap, that, reap what the drunkard has sown? Uh, Tatsu. Us, Tatsu. Wait, uh, you're new here, right? I didn't recognize your face. Are you a mercenary? No, I'm just new. We're in luck. Dreon takes it easier on the new blood. Do us a favor. Take him his wine and his morning report, all right? It'll be impossible otherwise. And what is in this for me? Dreon's wrath will fall on all of us. So, it's in your own best interest to help. I suppose I could give you some couple of potions as well. What do you say? Well, this to bring wine very well. I'll do it. Thanks, friend. Don't forget to wear a clean uniform. Dennett is a stickler for that sort of thing. Alright, do we have wine? Oh, that's probably in the barrels there. Okay, so we put this in the back. It's an empty wine skin. Right, we fill that with wine. And then uh, we put it there. Let's put on the uniform. That'll be important. So we can properly identify this with Edwin. Just give it to him. We'll sort that later. Uh, let's get some wine. Yes, there better be a profit in this. You fill up uh, the wine skin. Excellent. All right. Well, we're in uniform, so let's talk with this commander, uh, Dreon. Shame we can poison the wine. That gives me an idea. Can we poison a wine? Hmm. No, I don't think we can poison a wine. What is it? Why? You need something. I don't talk to recruit. Oh wait, that's uh, give him a different voice. I don't talk to recruits. I have a number of reports here requiring your personal seals, huh? I don't have time for this. A number of reports, you say? Sir, if you'd like, I could borrow your ring and mark them out for you. Yes, fine. Here, take it. I'll need it back by the end of the day. Hey, of course. I understand. Thank you. Dismissed! So, I don't know what... This tray on seal? Do we still need to do we something for him? Light. No, I guess not. Uh, What's this then? Troll shackles, that's interesting. We have a lot of uh, random items here, let's put this away. Right, we'll uh, probably do more no, secrets. No excuse not to work. Indeed, excuse me, indeed. I think we'll explore this camp more in the next episode, so till then, 